All right. Greetings. Welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. Thank you all for joining me today. We have another lovely deck tech coming along from uh, some of the other gaming people in my crew. Uh, I was uh, lucky enough to get them to loan me a couple of decks to do some extra deck techs on to show off to you all uh, and see what you all think. And, uh, you know, just kind of share something that you guys may have thought about making or, you know, a deck that you might have been like, hmm, I wonder what it would, uh, what some of the good includes would be on that one. So, yes. Um, <clears throat> so, thank you for joining me. I am Chaos, and this is the Chaotic Beagle channel here. So if you like these deck techs, uh, please do comment below. You know, I love conversing with you all back and forth, chatting and everything. But I also would love it if you all would like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you get notified when we do more of these. I like doing them. I enjoy it. And uh, love conversing with you all in the comments and, you know, <clears throat> finding out information on lore and, you know, little tidbits of uh, other cards that are includes that would be good for the deck. All that kind of stuff. So I love it. Um, but with that, oh. Oh. Let me plug my camera in here before it dies. Ha ah, there we go. All right. So with no further ado, we are going to go ahead and get it on with this deck tech for today. Today we have a very interesting one that uh, Buddy Spartan runs. It is. Let's uh, get this camera to focus here. Come on, camera. There we go. Brago King Eternal. This is one that uh, Spartan runs on occasion. Uh, so two white blue for a legendary spirit noble 2-4. It has flying and when Brago King Eternal deals combat damage to a player, exile any number of target non-land permanents you control, then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. So, very nice. Very spicy little deck here. Uh, let's Let's see if we can bring you guys in a little bit here. Yes. So, very nice, very spicy deck here. Yeah. Let's see what we have in store with this one. So, first off, it is only a two color, so very nice. Uh, <clears throat> so, we have doo -doo -doo, 11 planes. For the beginning of our land base for this deck, the second part is blue, which we also have 11 Islands, Islands. And he's got, you know, the same art on all of them, so came out nicely. Yes. All right. Next, we have 13 unique lands in this deck. All right. So we have... Da -da -da. Terramorphic Expanse, Tranquil Cove, Floodplain, Dog Licking My Arm, uh, <laughs> Myriad Landscape, Prairie Stream, Sky Cloud Expanse, Port Town, Thriving Isle, Evolving Wilds. Reliquary Tower, Glacial Floodplain, Sejiri Refuge, and Command Tower, topping it off. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. <clears throat> Alright, next up is the Artifacts. Uh, this deck looks to have... Let me see here. 12. Mm -mm. It has 12 artifacts. Alright, so. There we go. 
All right. So we got Sorakai Genesis Engine, Armillary Sphere, Aerial Surveyor, Soul Ring, Azorius Signet, Arcane Signet, Dark Steel Ingot, Guild Globe, Altar of the Brood, Hero's Blade, Azorius Locket, and Strionic Resonator, which this is nice because you can pay the two and then basically copy Brago's ability while it's on the stack. Well, you have Mana Rocks in here that come into play untapped when you hit with Brago. Basically, you can copy his ability while it's on the stack. These come in, and basically you can just uh, rapid fire his ability off. And this deck has a lot of ETBs, uh, ETB triggers. So you just get a ton of ETB triggers off. Uh, and basically, you know, destroy the board, return the hand, all kinds of different stuff. So he's got a couple different little combos in this one. All right, next up is enchantment. There we go. I believe there is seven enchantments in this deck. So, do do do. We got ghostly prison, teleportation circle, oblivion ring. Banishing Light, Mystic Remora, Cast Out, and Steel of the Godhead. So, yes. Some nice little enchantments there. A few to buff up Brago. Uh, some removal ones, uh, which can get uh, very, uh, very hectic when he's bringing those in. And just like, this goes away, this comes back. This goes away, this comes back. It's kind of funny. My little puppy snoot. She's sticking her little puppy snoot up here. No, no, that's my notes. That's my notes. You crazy beagle. All right. Enchantments. Or not enchantments. Sorceries. Sorceries. We have two. Watch your head. All right. We have... Doo -doo. All right. We got time reversal... And a Chroma's Vengeance. Those are the only two sorceries we have in this deck. Uh, instants. We have 11 instants in this deck. Alright. So we have Brainstorm, Valorous Stance, Counterspell, Chemister's Insight. Crush Contraband, Generous Gift, Lofty Denial, Dovin's Veto, Teferi Time Twist, Negate, and Swords to Plowshares. Some good old staples in there. Good old Commander staples. Alright, so next up we have... Mm -mm, creatures. We have a number of creatures here. We've got 30 creatures in this deck. All right. Okay, so for the creatures, Venzer, Shaper, Savant, Wall of Stolen Identity, Wall of Omens, <laughs> give me sight beyond, no, no, that's Thundercats, wrong one, wrong one, uh, Sad Robot, Solemn Simulacrum, Whirler Rogue, Tribute Mage, Trinket Mage, Restoration Angel, Archeomender, Mist Raven, Angel of Serenity, Core Cartographer, Our Russian Cleric, Angel of Finality, Flicker Wisp, Cloud Blazer, Gold Mirror, Sky Scanner, uh, Arcanist's 
Angel or Arcanist Owl. Yeah, not Angel. Uh, Immelrith, Desert Doom. Silvermere, Palace Jailer, Diluvian Primordial, Trophy Mage, Steel Hellkite, Riverwise Augur, and then you've got Ar uh, Grand Arbiter Augustin IV, which is a pain in the ass card to have out, Mull Drifter, Sun Titan, uh, Meteor Golem, which, as I mentioned before, with Brago and the uh, Lithoform engine, uh, you can basically just keep dropping this out and just pop. Uh, enters the battlefield, destroy target non-land permanents. You can just basically pop everybody's permanents if they're not indestructible. Um, so, yeah. And Soul Hoarder, which that's a big nasty one. We were playing the other day and I did steal it. I made it a sliver and stole it with my sliver overlord, um, so which was kind of funny. Um, but this one, as everything leaves and comes back, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So, yeah, very nice one to have in here. Uh, but some nice combos. He's got some nice combos in here. Um, oh, and last but not least, he does have one Planeswalker. He has... Venzer the Sojourner. That is the only Planeswalker that he has in this deck. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So there we go. That is the deck for Brago King Eternal. So, very nice one. Uh, it's interesting. He pulls off some nice little combos in this one. Um, does a decent little job uh, with everything that he has. And uh, it's interesting. It's a fun one to see get thrown around and uh, played in there. So, yes! Um, I thank you all for joining me today. So that's me. Uh, this is Chaos with Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I'll be signing out of here. If you guys have any suggestions on cards you would uh, think might work with this deck, or maybe there was one in here that you didn't think about, uh, let us know in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you all have a happy, safe, and fun week, and I'll see you in the next videos and the next deck tech. Um, y'all take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see y'all later.